In this video, we're revealing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to sell on Amazon and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, Mike Vasil here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Sign up for it in the link below. So before I literally built an e-commerce business that went from zero to five grand the first month to literally $1.6 million that first year, there was literally a point in my life where I just did not know what to do with anything that came to making money online. Like it was always complicated, uh, it was overwhelming, I didn't have that much skills and as you can see my background was like biology and chemistry, I had no idea about sales, marketing, customer service, fulfillment, how to source products, and all of it was just very foreign to me, right? Which is why when I first heard about like making money with Amazon, of course I wanted to get into it because I wanted the freedom that e-commerce would give me without actually having to show my face on camera, without actually having to be some type of personal brand, right? But I just didn't know that actually selling on Amazon and making money with e-commerce is kind of like a video game where you kind of have to like level up. Um, in terms of like confidence, skill set, as well as just you know expertise in the craft, right? And what most people do wrong when they first get started with selling on Amazon is they do the hardest thing imaginable, right? Which is they literally go to a place like Alibaba, they spend thousands of dollars on products that they might not necessarily know will sell, and then they'll go ahead and send it to Amazon, and you know they hope and pray, making sure that maybe they might make money, but then they actually don't after a year or two, and they're like, wow. Not only did I waste a lot of time and money, right? Well, in today's video, what I wanna share with you is even though that could be a good option to sell on Amazon, there's actually very low risk ways to get started selling on Amazon that you can kind of like build up your confidence and your profit before going over the more riskier terms of selling on Amazon. Does that make sense? So that's how we're gonna go ahead and stem this from like low risk to higher risk, but maybe more uh, profit potential. Does that make sense? So literally the first level to literally sell on Amazon is literally just downloading the Amazon seller app because it's free and go to like a place like Walmart or Costco after like the holidays and literally use this app to scan certain things. Because what this app will essentially tell you is it's kind of like selling on Amazon, but on training wheels. And it could tell you how much you could actually sell it for and profit if you were to go ahead and sell it on Amazon, right? So one of the things that me and my dad would do every Sunday after church is we would literally go to, for example, you know, a Walmart and see if we could literally scan things with this phone app to see if we could buy something and actually send it over to Amazon because that method was like the least like how do you say technically savvy uh, skill that I needed to go ahead and sell on Amazon. Like we were literally in a community where people were going to like Costco and getting like those red lobster mixes, biscuit mixes, and they were just buying like a truckload from Costco and then shipping over to Amazon. But because this already had a specific brand, they actually didn't have to go ahead and create this specific listing. They didn't have to go ahead and write all these things. They didn't have to go ahead and do all of these things because when one of these things go out of stock, kind of like what it is right now, out of stock, essentially what it is, is they just literally go ahead and sell on Amazon and they don't have to go ahead and create any of these, right? So you literally have people making six figures on the side, um, just building up slowly by just like maybe, you know, buying one or two things at a time to build their confidence level. You know, they don't have to go to a place like Alibaba and like buy and invest thousands of dollars worth. They can literally dip their toe in to see exactly how, you know, the power of Amazon's fulfillment service actually works. Like I said, just downloading this app, going to like a Walmart or a Costco, especially after the holidays when everything is on clearance, and then literally buying it and then shipping it over to Amazon where Amazon does the selling, they've already created the listing for you, and all you do is literally sell on Amazon with one to sell without actually having to create one of these things. Now we literally have people in our community that we interview on our podcast, right? Because we interview a lot of successful people all around the world, like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million, or this guy that makes a million dollars from profit, and actually one of the people that we interviewed on our podcast made nearly half a million dollars with this method in sales, just kind of like flipping it, doing that method. And it started, like I said, from very humble beginnings of just buying one, selling it, getting profit, buying three things, shipping over Amazon, selling it, and they never had to actually go ahead and create this. Now the second level, uh, and by the way, that's like completely very low risk because you know, like the app is essentially telling you that it could, if it could sell or not, and you don't actually have to do any sales and marketing and creating this listing. Now the second level of that, 
is understanding why do people actually sell on Amazon? Well, Amazon is actually a search engine. And if you could understand that, and you could kind of like rank for certain things that have very low competition, then why do you have to be the one that actually has to invest in the inventory? Does that make sense? So for example, if I go ahead and type in grill mat, these were t the things that I was trying to buy from Alibaba and initially send them over to like Amazon. Some of these grill mats have 18,000 reviews, right? And the reason why I would want to rank for that is because if someone clicks on this, buys, and then you know Amazon does the shipping and handling, I would get paid. But why would I go after that if I can literally rank for something like like cat t-shirt for women funny? The, the fact that all of these things pop up, right? All of those words, that means that people are searching for these things on Amazon, for the search engine, right? And you can see that there's literally some t-shirts that are on the first page that have only seven reviews. So which one is like less comp competitive? Something with 18,000 reviews on the first page or seven reviews. And you can see all these other things are here. Here's two reviews, here's 49 reviews. And actually, when you go ahead and sign up for merch by Amazon.com, you can essentially upload some type of like artwork or design, which you don't even have to create yourself, upload it onto Amazon. They print it on a t-shirt that they've invested in. They do Amazon Prime, so it's almost like it's Amazon FBA, but it's free. Literally no upfront cost or investment to you, right? So that's one thing to also understand, right? Like there are ways to sell on Amazon. There are a lot low risk than the, the traditional Amazon FBA method, which does work, but you need to have some type of skill and patience to go ahead and do that. Here, you can literally go ahead and just like upload designs on Merch by Amazon for free. And if you can literally get like one t-shirt to pay you $100 a month profit, you don't have to spend any money on inventory. You don't have to do customer service. You don't have to do shipping and handling. And you don't actually have to do the shipping logistics between China and America because Amazon already has all the inventory. So it's just also a good thing to go ahead and try out, right? Just think about it. If you get like 10 t-shirts or designs that pay you $100 a month, that's nearly $1,000 profit that you don't have to spend in inventory. And it's actually pretty simple to create these designs. You would just simply go to Pinterest and see what already is proven to sell by what people are pinning and saving for later because they want to buy it for later. And you scroll down and see what are the examples that you know catch your eyes. And you can either create it yourself if you know Photoshop or you can even go to Upwork and hire a graphic designer. Go to search locations, type in the Philippines because you could get them for really cheap and then go to hourly relay, $10 an hour and below. And I remember when I was doing e-commerce and print on demand, uh, which is this service, I was doing it in the elephant niche and the Jesus niche. We literally had people like making it for like $2 a design because like some of these designs are super simple to make. Like you can see this person, you know, $10 an hour. You see other people like this girl literally only charges $6 an hour with 100% job success. And literally what a lot of people are doing to sell on Amazon is just getting a lot of these people uploading the designs on Merch by Amazon and trying to create a portfolio of low competition keywords that they could rank for. Another one like, for example, is Beagle Gifts for Women, right? Like you saw the Beagle early on in this video. People are literally ranking for these Beagle things and you could see that there's only one t-shirt, two t-shirts, look at this, three t-shirts, only 11 reviews and there's so many different design ideas that you could go ahead and find on Pinterest, right? Now the next level you could actually go ahead and sell on Amazon is just selling ebooks and paperback books for free. Now it's not in the way that you think where you feel like you have to be an expert. Like yeah, I do have, for example, a book that I sell on Amazon right here that I literally sell for free through Amazon Kindle and KDP, but this is not exactly what I mean. What I mean is there are literally people that rank, that rank for this keyword right here, free weight loss, and you can see that people are searching for it because it's recommended. And this first thing is literally this book right here that only has 71 reviews, and look at this, only 15 pages. So how are people making money with this free book? Well, think about this. Remember, Amazon is a search engine, so it's kind of like Google. And people create blog articles because if they rank on Google, they make money. But people are starting to realize that they could actually rank for free content, and instead of creating the blog article on Google, they create it on kdp.amazon.com where they could self-publish e-back books and paperbacks for free, reaching millions of readers on Amazon, kind of like merch, but dot, uh, like, kind of like merch.amazon.com. But in these books, one of the hacks are literally things that they might you know, be affiliate marketing with, like for example on ClickBank, where you could sign up for free, and instead of you actually buying the inventory and shipping it yourself, say one of the hacks was like, for example, one of these things like uh, the Java Burn, right? Now Java Burn is a dietary supplement that helps people lose weight, and they pay $117 commission, right? So you can exactly see that some of these people rank for these keywords on Amazon, 
people download these books. It's the first thing on the first page when you type in free weight loss book. It's only 15 pages and they're recommending products that are affiliate marketing products or building an email list which they could sell more things than back end, right? Does it make sense? And last but not least, the last way, which is the most obvious way, is if you start getting good at all of those ways, which are very low risk ways, then you can start tackling you know, the harder thing of, okay, let me take all of that profit that I made in low risk ways to sell on Amazon and then put it into building your own brand because even though you might not make a lot of profit right away, this does become a sellable asset where you know there's people that I've met here in Bali that even though they made millions of dollars in revenue with their Amazon FBA business buying from Alibaba and shipping it over to Amazon, they never actually profited because they always had to take the profit and buy more inventory. Does that make sense? But they made a lot of money when they actually sold their business to somebody else, right? And then they would just get like an upfront million, two million, three million, four million, just like that. So when it comes to this business, this isn't necessarily a cash flow business. The Alibaba method is more so for you to sell the business, but all these other things that we showed about are literally ways to go ahead and, for example, you know, uh, make money with Amazon, selling on Amazon with a low risk way that are high cash flow methods. But of course, if you want even faster and easier cash flow method, methods, and you want to find out how people in our community were able to go from zero to literally 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, like Dean at age 47 years old, at a stay at home mom, then sign up for this free workshop below, as well as check out this video and this podcast right here. Hopefully, this helps. Love you guys. See you guys later. Woo!